for joining me once again. Um, if you're new here, my name is Nancy and I try to um, upload new, new uh, vlogs, I'm trying once a week at the moment, but it proves somewhat diff difficult some days with um, two little ones. I have a little girl, Matty, she is two and a half, and a little boy called Jax, who is almost seven months now. So I hope everyone is well at the moment and keeping busy. Today's vlog is just basically me sharing with you all um, what I carry around in my kind of essential baby sort of um, caddy, really. They're so handy. This is the one that I have. Um, it's actually from TK Maxx and I think it was about 10 or 11 pounds. It could, it could have been slightly less. I'm not sure off the top of my head but it's one of the best things that I've bought. I didn't have one with Matty because we were actually living over in our one bedroom flat, so it just wasn't necessary. Everything was around me. However, now we've moved into our house and things that we're renovating, it's just up and down the stairs constantly, and I'm sure it's the same for most of you mums out there. So it's always good to kind of keep the necessities on you <laughs> in one place. So, like I say, this is the um, caddy. It's kind of a soft felt material, which is great because it kind of manipulates to any sort of shape, really. And it's got um, three compartments inside, which are like big, big block compartments. And then it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven compartments all around the outside. The front one's actually being separated into three different compartments, which is handy smaller compartments as well so you don't lose things and the ones on the back are two big ones and then two side ones so there's loads and loads of storage in these which is brilliant the only negative i would say that i found with it is that the felt material if you have pets and i'm sure your house can be spotless however occasionally there will be cat or dog hair like we have a dog roland um i just it just seems to attract it it's literally Every time I look at it, I think, oh, there's one, there's one. <laughs> it drives me crazy. So, um, yeah, constantly picking bits off it. Anyway, let's move on. So I'm just going to share with you, like I say, what I carry around with me and what I see as useful day to day. So we'll start off in this compartment. Bear with me because I actually, even though I knew I was going to do this vlog, um, there are some bits in it that which have possibly been in there since Jax was born, which I possibly don't really use at the moment, so just bear with me. So first of all, I have the Walida <laughs> nipple cream, something to start on. <laughs> um, when Jax was first born, um, he's, he's breastfed still. Um, I did breastfeed Matty originally, but literally for about three weeks, and then I, I just couldn't handle it, which I'm quite sad about now. However, uh, Jack seems to just be more of a natural at it and I think I'm more relaxed doing it because he's my second and I just kind of don't have any inhibitions now. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not somebody that would go out into public and just whack them out <laughs> and then start feeding. Like, I keep everything discreet, but I do feed in public. I just, you know, I am a bit sort of worried and I don't want to offend anyone, but at the same time, it's completely natural. So, yeah, I'm a bit sort of have my scarf around me. Anyway, this is, I did originally have one from Superdrug, which was just their own brand, which was good. Um, however, my, <laughs> TMI, my nipples actually was were so sore in the beginning, like I couldn't even bear to like breathe near them. They were that horrific. So um, it was actually my mum that nipped to boots for me and got me this Walida cream which is amazing. I can highly, highly recommend it. It's um, what size? a 25 gram tube. It's not cheap. I think it was about eight to 10 pounds, but I can highly recommend it. It just completely cured um, my soreness and things and, and cracks within literally about three days, if that um, and it was it just made me able to feed comfortably and keep my confidence up to keep going so I'd certainly recommend that for any anyone that's uh, about to attempt breastfeeding or you know is suffering at the moment it's it's a great product um, next moving on I'm sure everybody has got one of these in the house at the moment and also when they have a new baby anyway 
This is just a little thermometer, again from Boots. Um, it's a digital one. Um, it's proven very handy, um, especially after, you know, jabs and things, you need to keep track and make sure your baby's okay. Um, funnily enough, after Jax's last injections, he did have quite a temperature. So, um, yeah, it's just always great to have. He's fine now, by the way. It was just a normal reaction. <laughs> Um, next I have, I'm a big fan of the brand Snuffle Babe. I don't know if you can see that. Just, oh, come on camera. Yeah, this is a great product. It's basically saline nasal drops. Um, since Jax was born, he had a terrible issue with his nose. So much so that we took him to the doctor about three times because I was convinced that he was either allergic to something or something just wasn't right he was born via c-section i wondered if maybe he hadn't got rid of all like the gunk and stuff that like they do in a normal birth however i was told that it's something that's very common for newborns as their nasal linings really sensitive and things that it could either be dust a chill in the bedroom um, or he may just need a room vaporizer so basically he, he also recommended these uh, and to use these about three or four times a day. So I did all of those things, um, made sure he wasn't in a draft, which I knew he wasn't anyway, but um, got a room vaporizer um, and started using these. Now, these are just absolutely amazing. I'm sure lots of you have used them before. They're a very well-known product. Um, I know that Calpol also do them as well. Um, pretty much the same thing. It's just like I say, saline nasal drops. Um, I would say, I have tried the Calpol ones as well, that their um, packaging, basically they come with like a pipette, it is a lot easier to drop into your baby's nose with that. Whereas this is, I don't know if you can see, that's just like a dropper. So basically what I do with Jax is have him on my knee, on his back, and just slightly tilt him and try and hold his head at the same time. And just drop one or two drops in each no in each nostril um but like i say these, these have been brilliant as soon as you've done that literally i know in a matter of about a minute if that baby will sneeze and just bring up everything that was causing the issue it's it's incredible stuff and you know he was able to feed so much happier then and it was a huge peace of mind for for us and um, like I say, I did have to use them probably for a good first month of him being here. Um, touch wood, he's absolutely fine now, but they're just, like I say, they're in there from the beginning. But very handy and highly recommend. Okay, moving on, we have, um, this is obviously like a standard cowpole. That's it. This is the infant sugar-free kind. Um, like I say, Jack's had this recently after some of his jabs. Um, it's just a great product, I'm sure, as you know, every mum has, has it in the cupboard. And it comes with the cowpaw little administer, which is great. Um, I am actually a big fan, I don't know if some of you out there are, of um, the Child's Farm products as well. I found with Matty, when she was born, she actually seemed to have very, very sensitive skin to any of the like well-known baby products like Johnson's and things. And I discovered Child's Farm and thought I'd give it a go. It is a little bit more pricey, but it's not outrageous at the same time. Um, this is actually part of a little travel set which I got, um, which was quite handy. I think that was on offer not so long ago um, in Boots. If you were, my, um, sorry, yeah, if you were a um, baby parent um, advantage card holder, then there was an offer. And uh, you could go in and redeem, and you've got a small travel kit of um, Child's Farm products, which is it's just brilliant. But this one, sorry, me babbling on, is the just uh, normal scented free baby moisturiser for sensitive skin. It's not picking it up. Annoying. Anyway, um, it's brilliant. It's for newborn upwards. And like I say, it's scent free. Um, but I just noticed such a huge difference with Matty and Jax from using these products. Um, whoops. <laughs> uh, after a bath, I apply it all over. I use the nappy cream as well. Um, I'm not saying I just use that nappy cream, but it is good. And like I say, it came in the, in the pack that I got. But I can certainly highly recommend that. 
I do also use the shampoo, the Charles Farms shampoo and body wash as well in the bath, which um, is great. So check them out if you uh, get the opportunity. Okay, moving back on to nappy cream. My favourite, I'd have to say, is Bipanthan. I'm sure you've all seen this before. This is, I don't know why, but with my children, it just seems to be a little less aggressive on um, their bottoms, basically. So I did use uh, Sudocreme, and I think Sudocreme is a fantastic product, but I feel like it's possibly a bit too strong for newborn skin. Um, I know that when they get older, like now Matty's two and a half, and I do apply it on her when necessary, and it doesn't have the same effect anymore. But when, they, when she was little, and same with Jack's, it just seemed to, I don't know, aggravate the situation, whereas the panthen is, as always, literally just got rid of it straight away. So I don't know if there's something in that, I don't know. But um, yeah, I would highly recommend the panthen for your newborn. Um, going back to Charles Farm, that was the nappy cream that came free in the travel kit thing, which is really great. It's obviously, it's just got aloe vera, scent free. But very handy. What's going on? It's not playing ball. Anyway, moving on. Next, I have. I try not to really bulk out the side pockets because it's just, I don't want to stretch it. I don't think it would, but I just don't want to. So I just kind of leave them for more flat things. So, like I say, I've been breastfeeding um, from scratch with Jax. So, as you know, <laughs> constantly need breast pads these are just the tesco's own and they're fantastic um they're, i think they're literally like a pound for a box of 56 or something and they have the um bit here which you just peel off and then you can stick it against your bra or your top whatever um when i go to bed at night i don't wear a bra or, i mean it just drives me mad but i do stick them in my pajamas because as you know, TMI, you can wake up completely drenched. So if you've got those taped in the front, then it's a massive help. Anyway, they're a godsend, so I highly recommend those. Next, we have... Now, Jax is currently teething quite badly, so um, bless him. I think he's getting his two top front teeth in. He's handling it, but last night was a rough night, to be honest. So I've always got Bongella, which... I know lots of you mums out there probably use. Um, it's been great. This has been an absolute godsend for Jax. I literally just put a pea size amount on my clean finger and just apply it to the area where I think that he's teething or just all over really. Um, it certainly helps him sleep at night at the moment. If he's really sort of chomping and things, like I, if I apply that on, give him his dummy, then he seems to settle right down at the moment. So that's good. Um, he does have a teething ring, which is, um, I'm not sure what's in it, to be honest. I'm, I'm assuming just water, but I keep it in the fridge and that's been a real godsend as well. Obviously, the coolness must take out the swelling when he's chomping on it, but that's been great. Otherwise, um, he, I have one of these ones, which are the Matchstick Monkey. Um, this is the, I think it's the medium sized teether in like a greeny tealy kind of color it's lovely um but it's got lots of different textures to it which he is literally frantic on this one funnily enough at the moment um so it's got like a ridged tail version knobbly bit another knobbly bit and then at the back there's like a very soft like toothbrushy rubbery sort of side um but they're brilliant i think they're a little bit pricey for a teether compared to like normal ones but they look pretty funky and I think this one was 9.95 or £10 exactly. But I'm really pleased with it and um, he uses it all the time so that's great. Okay, so the next teething um, kind of accessory that I have is one of the amber necklaces. I think it's Baltic Amber. Um, I personally uh, believe in these, I think they're really good. Um, they're on a silk thread which is the perfect length basically um i personally don't um or never did let matty sleep in hers or jack's um you can buy bracelets or necklaces or anklets as well i think now and um, this is the necklace and it comes as i'll just show you here this is it's a 
twisty kind of fasten so they can't literally drag it off or any of those fall off and each after each individual stone there is a little knot in the thread so even if somehow they were to break it it's literally not going to fall off uh, may maybe one but you'd notice I'm sure um, but yeah I think they really work they seem to apparently take out the swelling when babies are teething and things and um, yeah I just I like it I mean I think it looks pretty cool and um, like I say it definitely seemed to work with Matty and so far it's been so good with Jax so yeah highly recommend those I'm, I think this was from a website called Go Amber um, I'll have to check it out and put a link below. Um, failing that, I know that um, Amazon, you can get hold of them on Amazon or eBay, and they're not that much. I think this was about 12 to 15 pounds. So yeah, I really recommend those. They're, they're very handy. And they come in all sorts of different colors as well. Obviously amber, but some of it's dark, some of it's more kind of mottled with like dark and the honeycomb bits in. So yeah, just have a look. Really pretty accessories as well. Um, another teething um, item which I can highly recommend is Nelson's Teething Granules. These were uh, recommended to me by my sister-in-law actually. Um, my niece was um, teething terribly and um, they're a homeopathic med medicinal product and you can get them in Boots, anywhere, Amazon, Superdrug. Um, I think all the supermarkets do them as well from what I've seen. Uh, basically, they just come in little sachets. Uh, I'll just show you one. That's a sachet, so they're tiny. And they're for babies from three months old. Um, and it contains chamomile reputita. Don't ask me what that is. Obviously, it's something to do with chamomile. Um, but, um, yeah, I find that these work. Um, well, I assume they do. I get a good response when I have used them. Um, you basically just pop a little bit on the palm of your hand and get the baby's dummy or a clean finger and just kind of either dip the dummy in and then give the baby the dummy or just gently sort of place it on their tongue and it just dissolves. Um, but yeah, very handy to have. I've usually got them with me at the moment, even in my handbag and stuff, obviously when we were allowed to go out. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Next I have the... These are quite handy. Now I do have the Tommy Tippy nappy bin upstairs in Jax's room, um, but if I'm down here with this bag, then I just find it easier to um, put them in the nappy sacks. Now these are from B&M Bargains, and they were 99p for a box of 250. Um, they are scented. I um, don't know what scent they are, to be honest. Doesn't say, just fragranced. But yeah, really handy, so. Um, obviously tie them off and just pop them in your normal bin and take it out that night so just very handy to have um, also at the moment I'm not overly fussy with wipes these days because there's so many great ones on the market um, before all the uh, horrible like virus situation at the moment I would go to Aldi uh, usually weekly and I'm a big fan of their Mammy range products um, so I would always buy the wipes and nappies However, at the moment, we've been doing a lot of click and collect with Asda. So I've gone with the Asda Little Angels wipes. I have used them before and the nappies, and I just think they're brilliant as well. They're really great. Um, these are 64 baby wipes, and I know that I bought in bulk recently. I bought a box of them. Um, gosh, I think there was about 12 packets of these in there, and I think it was around £5. Um, but yeah, these are really great, um, lightly fragrance ones, and um, I don't seem to have had any issues with them, so I can highly recommend those. And they've got like a nice, um, that's one thing that is, I suppose, quite bad on the Mami ones, they've got quite a thick plastic um, opening, which I suppose is unnecessary, whereas this one's like flat, just a very, very, very thin piece of plastic on it, so quite good. Yeah, very impressed with those anyway, and I would certainly recommend them. Like I say, we've been doing a lot of our shopping at Asda recently, so I've gone and got the Little Angels range of nappies. Um, now, these are Matty's. These are a size 5. She doesn't actually wear nappies now. She's getting very good at potty training. However, at night time, occasionally I will put one on her. Um, 
it just depends because at the moment I get up, when I go to feed Jax in his room, I also go and get Matty up and go and put her on the toilet as well in the night. I mean, she's always half asleep, but I just found that she doesn't have any accidents when I do that. So um, she likes to go to bed without her nappy on now. Um, and that's, that's been fine so far. She had a couple of accidents, but you know, overall she's doing brilliantly. However, if we are going somewhere, like popping out to the supermarket or um, before all this um, popping out anywhere, I would always either put her in a nappy or just have some in the nappy bag because it's nicer for her, you know, I don't want her to have an accident in the car and things. And Anyway, I'm obviously going to keep them because eventually Jax will grow into them as well. So they're always in here. And then this side is Jax's nappies and these are currently a size three. Um, they're brilliant though, I, I love these nappies, I haven't had any issues with them, um, obviously nobody leaves their baby in nappies for, for long, you realise you know, when they've been to the toilet and you change them, but I've never had any leaks or anything with them and they roll up really nicely and yeah, they're just great, so I would definitely recommend Little Angels. Moving on, I have um, one of the muslins, which is just a square one with grey stars on. I think this may even have been from Primark, actually. Oh no, sorry, from Sainsbury's. So that's always handy. I've got lots of these. I had lots from having Matty as well, but um, yeah, I always have muslin. I'm sure like all you mums do. <laughs> They're a godsend <laughs> for wiping up, for laying down, so if you don't ruin somebody's couch or anything if you go to their house. Um, so yeah, we use these a lot. Next, I have a little wrist rattle. This was um, in Jax's stocking actually last Christmas. He had a packet of two, and I think they were from Asda George, George Asda, however you say it. Um, really handy, they weren't expensive and they had the velcro fastening so you pop that on their wrist or ankle and obviously every time they move it rattles. Um, Jax is highly entertained by these, um, he does gnaw on them a lot obviously at the moment but um, yeah they're really handy so if you're changing nappies you just hand them this as well and it just keeps them still for a bit while you get them sorted. Just dropped it under the sofa. Okay, next I have the um, spare dummies. I didn't really want Jax to have a dummy originally, um, just because um, Matty had one, and I find that she's very clingy with it. I'd like to take it off her now, but I mean, to be fair, she does only have it at nap times and bedtimes, but it, I do worry about it affecting their teeth. So I tried to avoid giving Jax one, however, I felt like I was being used a bit as a dummy um, for some time, so I did end up giving in and I went ahead and got some Nook dummies, which are these ones. Um, because he's breastfed, I wanted something that you know wouldn't distract from him breastfeeding because I'd like to do it until he's a year or just under. Um, but these are the tips of those. So yeah, kind of. I suppose what your nipple looks like when you're feeding <laughs> um, but uh, yeah they've been they proved to be brilliant so I'm really pleased with those very handy um, spare hair bubble for me or when I, if I don't have one on my wrist which is not very often but you never know um, in for Carl this is literally a godsend um, I'm sure lots of you have used this as well, um, but uh, it's great effective colic relief. Um, you can also have gripe water as well, which I have tried with Jax originally, but he just did not like it at all. Whereas Infocol, I think it's got a nicer taste to it. It smells gorgeous. Um, but yeah, he, he doesn't really have it anymore. He doesn't need it. But when he was little, he'd be quite bad. So I'd just give him a little drop before feeding him or after feeding him. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, really, really handy. And I suggest if you've not had a baby before um, to get some in because I um, highly recommend it. It definitely works. Next I have, oh, this is an older product. This was from Winter. This is the, um, I think this was literally from Home Bargains. It's a child's like vapor rub. It's like Vicks, but the child's version. And it's like an own brand, I think Bell's Healthcare. I've not heard of that before. But basically it's from, oh, it's from six months onwards. Maybe it was Matty's. I don't know. 
Um, yeah, basically, you just put it, if your child's a little bit chesty, I usually, with Matty, I just rub it here on her chest and a little bit on her throat. Um, my mum actually told me that you should always put it on the soles of their feet and then put some nice chunky socks on just before they go to bed, so as they sleep. And apparently it works wonders. I have tried it myself when I wasn't feeling well a while ago, and it did work. I know that sounds weird, but... I did actually feel better the next day. Whether it was down to that or not, I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that if you try it. But uh, yeah, it is um, is quite interesting and I definitely did feel better. So well done, mum. <laughs> um, next, I have a pot of Sudocreme, which is obviously like standard. Um, like I said, I didn't really use it too much. I had loads of supplies in before Matty even arrived. And um, obviously it's it's highly sort of advertised as the best product and it is a great product and I use it if I've cut myself or anything as well. However, I, I personally feel for my children when they were newborns, it was just a bit too harsh on their skin. But like I say, since Matty does use it, so I can still recommend that. Next I have, this is the Asda Little Angels Petroleum Jelly. Um, always handy to have. Um, just yeah the same as Vaseline just like the cheaper version as design so really pleased with that there's not really much to say about it um good product next I have I've always got a bib at the moment because you just never know Jax is weaning so he gets very messy he has a lot of finger food all of a sudden and yeah let's face it <laughs> that's always messy so that's handy and oh yeah Spare socks, um, because if I'm downstairs and he's thrown his socks off somewhere and I can't find them and it's getting cold, there's always spare socks, which is something that he tends to do a lot. And I think, looking at everything, yeah, that's about it really. Um, like I say, these are all just bits that I find of great use to me, whether I'm upstairs or downstairs. If they're to hand, then it saves me you know, putting him in his chair and running around looking for stuff. It's all in one place. And it's a really funky little carry case. It says baby on it in like a gold kind of stamp. And um, I'm not sure if TK Maxx still has them. Um, obviously, you know, none of us know. We've not been shopping for a long time. But highly recommend it. If it is still there, do get yourselves one because I can, uh, I can vouch for them. And that's about it really. So look forward to check, um, catching up with you all again soon. And I hope you liked my video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, take care. Lots of love. And I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.